Welcome to another Safer Jazz podcast and this time around I got asked what about the ported devices for Safer Jazz just like the Gemini PDA and the Moto X2. I have both of these devices now upgraded to Safer Jazz 3.0 and uh, let me close this as you can see here it has a top menu and we have a white uh, ambience here and we have a dark ambience on the right. Also running Safer Jazz 3.0 on the Moto X2. So let's do a speed comparison between those two to see how good they perform with this new Savages 3.0 release. So first of all, let's start up the browser. One, two, three. And you'll see a little bit faster on the left. So the Gemini PDA is a bit faster than the, uh, than the Moto X2. We don't have any internet connection on the Gemini, so it's not loading anything here. But uh, now let's do something else. Just like, first of all, let's turn on internet connection. Now load something else, just like, for example, Storman 1. Mm -hmm. When it's not complaining about getting the wireless LAN connection. 1, 2, 3. And as you can see here, a little bit faster on the Gemini again. Understandable, has a more powerful processing unit in here. It's, um, what is it? MegaTag P20, I think, or X20 something. I don't know for sure. So what can we do? We can go and take a look at the AIDA 64. One, two, three. And as you can see here, faster on the Moto X2. So let's take a look at the CPU, not the system, the CPU and the same here as well. And as you can see here, we have a MediaTek Helio X27 on the Gemini PDA. And here we have the Snapdragon something. <laughs> it's not listing the processor name per se. I think it's the Snapdragon. 800, 801 maybe. So let's go to system. Maybe there's something in there. Nope. But both are running SafeJS 3.0 as you can see here. Uh, this is 3.0114 as this is a special version for the Gemini PDA and this is version 3.0111 which is basically the normal version. Um, both are running different Android HAL versions. This is running 7.1 and this is running 6.0. So that's for this. Let's go and take a look at opening up the terminal application. One, two, three. And a little bit fast on the Gemini again. So overall, you can see they're pretty close, pretty close together. Let's open up uh, the WebCat application under the browser. One, two, three. And again, a little bit faster on the Gemini. Let's open up QuickDit. I think I have it on both devices. Mm, don't have it on both devices, apparently. So let's open up something else, just like Yola together. One, two, three. And again, a little bit faster, quicker to load on the Gemini. And let's see if we can get another application to start here. Just like, for example, Tutor. One, two, three. And quicker here again. Loading the UI, loading the web stuff as well. So you can see in general, both devices are running pretty nice, pretty good, pretty smooth, pretty fast, pretty close to each other, but the Gemini PDA is a little bit faster uh, compared to the Moto X2, which is also still for a device that's I think four years old now. It's pretty, pretty fast running. Uh, maybe even older, I'm not sure. It's pretty, pretty fast running. And uh, yeah, I think this, these are all the applications that I want to start here. Um, let's see memory management. Of course, both 
without a hiccup, both without an issue with this little application it's only opened. It's uh, no wonder. You can see also uh, when we go to system, you can see the memory. Here we have uh, two gigabytes of uh, LPDDR3 and here we have four gigabytes of LPDDR3. Uh, so basically double the memory. But it doesn't really matter uh, when running only seven applications. You can see they can run without any doubt, without any issues and hiccups. Um, in parallel, let's open up a web browser website, for example, with this block. And you can see here the Gemini PDA a little bit fun. Oh, I misclicked <laughs> apparently. Uh, let's go back to the bookmarks. And let's reload the page, one, two, three. Oh, a bit quicker on the Gemini, maybe it has had it in the cache as well. Um, as you can see here, no issue at all, no lags at all on those two devices. They run pretty smooth, pretty fine. So that shows that Savages can still run on the device that has only two gigabytes of RAM and uh, runs pretty nice. So this is everything for this little speed comparison between the uh, Moto X2 and uh, the Gemini PDA, so two ported devices that are currently unofficial um, running with Savage S 3.01.